Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The final wave of the Booster Course Pass has dropped earlier than I expected, I will add, and I am so excited. I really should have recorded this at midnight and not at noon after my class, so I had time to edit and post this earlier in the day, but y'all be seeing this on drop day, so I'm just going to get right into it. We've got the Acorn Cup for starters, another tour track, Rome Avanti, and then DK Mountain. This is one of the ones I'm very excited about for this wave. Daisy Circuit, I like that addition. I don't love that it's the third race in a cup. I feel like it should be the first or second, but we get what we get. And then Piranha Plant Cove, brand new. I'm very excited to see what that eel will do to unsuspecting vehicles. And then the Spiny Cup. It's not the Blue Shell Cup. It's the Spiny Cup. We've got Madrid Drive, a tour track to open up. Rosalina's Ice World. This is the track that I am going to judge a majority of this pass on. Because I'm going to be brutally honest, I do not like this track on the 3DS. I think it's a very punishing track when it doesn't need to be in several spots. And I'll point those out when we drive through. But I'm going to judge this heavily on Rosalina's Ice World. After that, we have Bowser's Castles 3 from the SNES, which just looks amazing in the remake. And then a perfect, perfect fitting end to this entire DLC, Rainbow Road from the Wii. I am hyped, I am ready, let's drive. So we're going at 150, I know I've done some of these videos at 100, but I that just feels too slow to me. We're just gonna do it at 150 and see what happens. We're driving straight into the Coliseum right off the bat, I love it. I love this big curve here, a nice purple boost there. Then more ruins. Fun flower sign in the middle of all the ruins. Gotta love advertising. I love all the shy guys and the toads hanging out on the side of the robe. I see Monty moles poking out of manhole covers like on Airship Fortress. I like that. Now we've got lap two. Every tour track has a different set of three laps. We'll see what this one has to offer. Up the stairs, I like that. You can go one of two ways, I think, on that for part of it. I think that was a bridge shortcut I just passed by. I like that. I'll have to see how to incorporate that on 200. Oh, this will be interesting. Going against traffic and all the bullet bills here. I don't love that, but that's just the way tour tracks are built. And then a sharp left into lap three. That'll really keep people on their toes at 200. Beware of Chain Chomp. Oh, are we going to go on the battle floor in here? If a red shell would not hit me, that'd be great. Are they actually going to... Yep, they're going to jump out on the sides there. I like that. They're a little bit more confined than I'd like. I would like them to like, jump out of the wall a little bit more for more chance of upending people. That'd be a nice chaotic obstacle. But I like that it's there nonetheless. Oh, I like that. The little uh, spiny things. I forget what those things are called, but on, on those floating tracks. I like that element. Very good. Very strong start for a tour track. I like that a lot. Very visually pleasing. Lots of nice little things in there. DK Mountain! I'm so hyped for this one. I love this track on the Wii. It is one of my favorite Wii tracks. I know it's a uh, GameCube original, but I first raced this on the Wii, and I love, love, love it on the Wii. Can't wait to dive right into this. I like the Burning DK. Uh, it's kind of behind my face cam, but the Burning DK advertisement... Into the cannon. What's the cannon going to feel like? I like it. The little angry mountain face. I like that. Um, I see a nest up there. Is there going to be a bird or like other stuff that fall because of that? I, I forget if there's a bird up there in the older versions of this that throw the boulders down. I know those start in lap two. I like the revamp music track. I love the way that all this looks. I was not prepared for that boulder. You caught me monologuing, you sly dog. These turns here are going to be really hard on 200, I can already tell. But that's kind of the beauty of the DK Mountain track. The turns are supposed to be difficult. I like the bank right there, just kind of like the Wii. Oh, this is going to throw people off. I forget if it did that on the Wii, moving around like that. Not quite to the sides like that. A little bit more rigid on the Wii, but I like it. I really like this so far. Hopefully I can go full speed through this without being hit by any items. Okay, that's not overly hard on 150, but 200 it will be. I like these banked sides over here. I don't think that turn I had just there had a bank on the Wii. That's gonna be terrible on 200 though, but I like that layout. It's really hard to get boosts on that bridge though. I don't like that. Yeah, this section right here, you even need to break a lot on 150. That's just the way that this track is built. But the rest of it is very visually pleasing. I just know it's going to be terrible on 200. And getting hit 
with an item on this bridge. I almost got greedy there with the mushroom. That'll be hard. I did hit a boost on that. You probably have to go toward the edges to get a true boost off of that. I'll leave that to the professionals on a regular basis, but that was good. Solid. I liked it. To be clear, I have nothing against Daisy Circuit. I really, really like this track, honestly. I also like the fact that you can kind of go up on that ramp over there and get that lone question block. I lean on that a lot when I play this on the Wii. But I think this track, I don't want to say it's too easy, but it's not a track that really has a lot of margin for error or like you can make a lot of mistakes and really not fall off the map there should be a lot of like places where you can fall off the map and the back half of circuits just to make it harder and change up the results so i don't love that this is toward the back half of a circuit i think there should be the first or second race in a circuit but honestly i'm loving the remake so far everything looks really good the, the music has an extra layer to it than it did on the wii and that's really all i can ask for so ggs very good i don't take this shortcut much and that knocks that out so i'm gonna need a green shell for that i tried to red that i don't like that there's a piranha plant in front of that shortcut that's gonna cause a lot of problems and then this blue shell is just gonna rock me let's see how easily i can stay on this ramp in 150. Uh, not the best turn there. That's going to be almost impossible on 200. We'll try it on 200 when I do this again on stream this weekend, but <laughs> that's going to be really hard to maneuver. And the piranha plant wooden thing respawns on the shortcut. I don't like that. I think that should just be open for people to use. You shouldn't need an item to get into that, because if you run into that piranha plant, then it just fully slows you down. But the rest of it's very visually appealing. I like it. Oh, there's the turn that I know and love from the Wii. There we go. That's my favorite turn in this track. That last turn on the ledge. I rode that like crazy on the Wii. Not bad. Not great, but not bad for Daisy Circuit. Brand new track, Piranha Plant Cove. I already love it. I like the architecture. I like the sunken ships, the clams, the skeleton fish. I want to see how much the eel messes stuff up. And are those fish on the top of the finish line going to move at all? I want fish to and eels to wreak havoc. I want to see it. I love the toads and the scuba gear just cheering everybody on. That's so great. There's a split track here. Does that really make much of a difference to what happens? I'm trying to get... I think this is Iggy here trying to get him to trip up. But there's the piranha plants. Watch out for those on the sides. I haven't seen any fish wreaking havoc yet. Okay, who nattered me? You're going to die. Not a great jump off of that pillar, but we'll see what creates havoc down here. I would really love to see all the fun stuff in here, but I got inked. I'm not seeing fish really screw up anything so far, and I don't love that. But I'm also seeing some of those red block arrows, which means that lap three is going to be wildly different. I already see lap two being different right here. So we'll see what this new area incorporates. I want to see a fish jump out of the water. I want to see it. I see the eel sneaking around the back there. Here's some thwomps. Okay, that eel's not going to get in the way of anything. It's not like the <laughs> train in the desert. Okay, here's some more arrows pointing us over here. And then we're going to take a sharp left in the lap three. I already hear a blue shell waiting to rock me again. Cross traffic here. I don't mind that. Okay, here's the clam. See how well I can swing that item. Okay, not bad. Glad I got a banana there, not a coin. Okay, eel. How is the eel going to screw stuff up here? Can I boost here? I don't think it's possible to run into the eel. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that that would cause a little bit of havoc. Usually I complain about that kind of stuff, but I want havoc. I want the Mario Kart havoc here. Unless I'm right. Here we go. There's an eel. Okay, my prayers have been answered. We're all good then I don't think those fish on the sides are going to move. They're just going to light the way. Okay, we got a little bit of eel action there. I love that. And that is the cup. I love it. Spiny cup time. This is the one that's really going to make or break this last leg of the DLC. I want a good ice world. I want a nostalgic rainbow road. And I want a visually pleasing Bowser Castle 3. I have faith that we'll get all three. Very high hopes for this one. Very high expectations. So we start out in Madrid. I like the churro stand at the start of it. Oh, I love the flamenco kind of beat here. The 64 sign, Mario 64 nod. I'm loving the way that the music is making me feel for this track. Nice open area. Wiggler! Wiggler for no reason. Okay. Going through a little shopping mall here. I love that one-up fuel sign on the side. I... Can we just talk about why Wiggler is just chilling in a Madrid plaza? 
There's a piranha plant going through the wall there. A little art museum. I like that. I like all the little sights and sounds here. Okay, is Wigg Wiggler's going to cause us trouble on lap three. We're going to go to the right this time after I get nuked real quick. Some swamps in here by some shops. Yoshi's chilling at the cafe. Okay, maybe this is where Wiggler will be asked. Wiggler, buddy, be nice. Okay. I don't know why Wiggler is in Madrid causing problems for everyone. That's very out of place. I don't love that. That was a nice boost there. I don't like that the water didn't boost me up a little bit more. That would have been cool. We'll go through some arches here. This should be toward the end of lap two, yeah? Okay, we'll see how crazy lap three is. I'm just noticing the Welcome to Madrid signs that Mario's advertising there on the street lights. There's a nice monument we're passing there. I, I like the animation style on that. And then we're, yes, football! I love it, love it. And then Goombas are kicking him, love. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Very good nod there. And that's that. Soccer is a great end to that with the Goombas kicking the balls around. That's a good chaotic element toward lap, the end of lap three. I love that. I don't think Wiggler needs to be in there, though. That's my one critique, but the soccer tidbit at the end made up for it. Very nice. All right, these last three are going to be big. Rosalina's Ice World. Is this in space? Did I see a Mario Galaxy World floating around over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They bouge this one up big time. I will say it did still look pretty visually appealing by 3DS standards, but this is just gorgeous. So my first big critique is going to be on this ice wall over here. How hard is this going to be to navigate? Because this pit has claimed me many a time over here. Okay, it's not too bad to drive. There's just a lot of chaotic elements that could happen there, like shells and banana peels. I like the ramp on the side here. How easy is it going to be to get onto these ice pillars over here. Okay, not bad at all. Usually I fell underwater on the 3DS. So those are my two big things out of the way right there. Okay, that's a brutal turn as always. And then getting this shortcut, how hard is that going to be? Not awful. That's going to be worse on 200 though, but it, I can already tell it handles a lot better. Oh, and a shortcut. Yes, please. That slows you down a lot though. I don't love that. Good shortcut, bad execution of the turf there. But as far as some of the tougher turns, they made them a little bit more forgiving, and I like that. And it's easier to ride on this upper lip without sliding down the track. That was not very good with the 3DS, so they've already made up for that mistake. I'm very impressed. I couldn't boost far enough there to get on top of that ice shelf, so I'll dock a little bit of credit for that. I want to be able to, like feasibly get on that ice shelf for all three laps without needing a power up maybe on 200 try and keep my speed up on this shortcut here i can barely make that without a mushroom i don't like that i don't like that it entices me with a shortcut but there's buildup of snow on there i'll need a mushroom for that this is my main concern though this path here but it's a lot easier to ride and there's more margin for error because if you made even the tiniest misadjustment on the 3ds you just absolutely spun out and fell to your death I don't like that turn there by the ramps, though, because it, that's kind of hard to maneuver. I can't imagine how hard that'll be on 200. But honestly, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this remake. That was pretty awesome. Okay, it's much faster without taking the shortcut, honestly. The shortcut's honestly a red herring there without an item. But honestly, I love that. It's very visually appealing. I love the Mario Galaxy elements kind of above the track. It looks very clean. This bit here handles very clean. That was my main concern. Nintendo fixed that big time. Big props for that. Test number two. How is Bowser Castle 3, an SNES track, going to translate to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? How are they going to make a 2D track into a 3D masterpiece? I'm already loving the visuals that I saw there. This looks so fun. I love the fireballs above that like mesh section of track there. I need to watch out for the mud there though. That's just a first time kind of thing. That's good placement there. I like the different areas you can take. Hop over the track there. And then we've got our floaty wheels on. I just about fell off the track there. But this is very three-dimensional so far. I like it. It's not all straight and arrows. And I can go on top of that up there. I got to try that for lap two. I love that little element. Then I like the piranha plants on the edges. The thwomps that rise up. That could be a big difference maker at the end of a race if you mistime that. I love it. 
That outside edge is much easier to go about than the inside. I need to be careful of that turn, though, because I about fell off for track one. I think it's just a matter of reps with that section of the track. I got to see if I can make it on this. No, I can't. That's harder at higher speeds, but at least I can go in between here. I've been hit with so many blue shells this video, and I had a speaker there. I was busy monologuing and didn't catch it. It's fine. I want to see, can this swamp stop me? It can, and it about crushed me there, too. So that was just for experiment's sake. Yeah, that will be very interesting toward the end of the race. I'm going to see if I can ramp off here and then go down the middle. Oh, maybe not. Maybe on 200 I can try that, but I'm just trying to find the most efficient way to get through this section because I've fallen off or nearly fallen off every time I've gone through this bit here with the big turns, the wide turns. Oh, I almost had that that time. Okay, that is very unforgiving. It's enticing but unforgiving, and I really like that. You got to be really sharp if you want to take that shortcut, per se. I'm probably not going to get first here. I'll take second. But I really like that track. It's very visually appealing for 3D. It's challenging toward the latter half of the circuit. It gets harder with courses as you go. I like the build of the circuit so far, and it's going to wrap up with Rainbow Road. Tough couple of turns in there, but honestly, I don't mind it with a remake from a 2D to a 3D. It's just a matter of reps. This is going to be a ride. More Mario Galaxy elements with it. The, the little space bit things are very distinct that rainbow portal thing is gonna be fun i cannot wait for this it looks very pretty i don't love that wiggler took multiple item boxes there but i like the design of the guardrails then we can go there and there oh the nostalgia is peaking were there rails on that section on the wii before i'm not sure there were there's rails in some sections of this track and other sections do not have rails I want to want to see here. Okay, not bad air time there. I need to be very careful about how I go about that though. I like the the little meteor falling animation if you do fall though, because you are a plummeting object toward it. I like it. I really really like it. What's this gonna look like? Really pretty. And then the Stargate turns yellow when you get closer. Very nice. How's this jump gonna feel? Oh, I goof that terribly. Okay, you gotta watch out for the edge there. We'll see if I can do better with that on lap two. How's this wide turn gonna be? Because it was hard enough on 150 on the Wii. Okay, not bad. I'm very curious again to see how 200 handles this. I managed to keep my boost there for that entire turn. I like that. Okay, I just need to be very careful on these edges. Just stay toward the edge. Okay, not a good jump there. I made that jump last time, no problem. This can be pretty tricky. Can I do this? Okay. Just got to stay really close to those edges there. I thought it would be a little bit more jump-friendly on 150, maybe on 200. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, that screwed everything up. But how can I boost into here? Okay, that's better. I just need to, like, not ride the very, very edge of that, or it doesn't really translate going on to the track there. What happens if I go to the inner ring here? Okay, good boost. That turn is more forgiving than I remember on the Wii, and I like that. Is there going to be a triple boost here? No, it's just two. I thought that the third lap here had another ring you could drive through on the third one. I could be wrong about that. Stay right on the edge here. There we go. Oh, I goofed that up. You got to be really careful if you go off that first ring. I remember it being more forgiving on the Wii, but my memory may betray me on that one. I know I didn't try that jump a lot on the Wii. How can I boost into this? Oh, I got it that time. So you just, you need to be careful about where you start your boost into that turn there. That's interesting. It really goofed me up on that first one. But no, that was a lot of fun. GG's. That is a very fitting way to wrap, what, the year and a half, two years that this DLC has slowly been coming out. The sixth installment. This has been such a fun series. I know I've roped in a few new people every time I post these videos, but this is just something I love to do. Playing this on launch day and reacting for you guys, but this was a lot of fun. I'm really going to miss this series. Goofed up a little bit on Bowser's Castle, but that is not something I mind at all. That's a challenging track. I really like how the Spiny Cup built up and challenge a little bit. And the remakes look very visually appealing. Really, the only gripes I have with any of it is 
that Piranha Plant Standee and Daisy Circuit by the shortcut. Wiggler being in Madrid for some reason, maybe that's something they did with Tour. I don't think Wiggler needs to be there, but, you know, I don't design the game. Rainbow Road was pretty good. Uh, that A couple of those turns are kind of unforgiving, but that's just the way it's designed. But, yeah, that's what I got. Thank y'all for reacting to this with me. If you're watching this for the first time before playing it or seeing it somewhere else, um, I hope you will join me on stream this weekend. I'll be playing this a little bit on stream probably uh, fr Friday or Saturday, honestly. I'll spend some time on this this weekend. Hope to see you guys there on the Twitch channel. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace out.